Welcome to RPR. In this video, we'll discuss about how to create dictionary variable in remote framework and use it for our automation perspective. So dictionary variable, it means we are declaring the value and calling one by one. We are creating a set of variables and inside that variable, we are calling it for our automation need. So <music> can create it and use it for our automation requirement. So whenever we are creating any dictionary variable, we just have to go to and select, I click on this and enter the value. So whenever we are creating a variable name as a dictionary, we have to provide an percent and then the name of our dictionary variable. And here we are giving as a detail username equal to I'm going to use this credentials so I'm giving here as a username admin password as admin123 so I want to automate this login page that's why I'm creating this flow so username equal to admin and password equal to admin one two three now my variable is created you can also add multiple columns as per your need but as of now i'm using scene that's why i'm selecting single column now my dictionary variable is created let's see how we can use it inside our test case create a test case name with dictionary demo go to the test case and open the browser keywords we are going to use it this keyword is used for opening a browser with this url so copy and paste this link here i'm going to call this inside the chrome so that's why i'm entering here the chrome now i want to enter the value inside the text box so this is a text box which i need to fill it up so here you can see we have to inspect the element and for inspecting the element we will need name or id so right now i am using id so uh, for entering the value we are going to call keyword input text and inside it i am going to provide id equal to this and the dictionary variable which I have created now. So here I will give you n percent pass and then the actual username dictionary value. So for entering the username dictionary value, I will add a username here in between square bracket. So user name perfect again i need to enter one more value inside the text box so i'm calling again next keyboard input text and this time i'm going to use id for password so id for password is this inspect the element and i will get text password is my id this time i will use it here and person again pass then inside the round bracket password this will enter my password and then close the browser if you want to see the output you can add here one sleep time sleep time of three seconds now this will show up your result let's run it what field why okay there's a typo error that's why it's got field uh, ch chrome now 
let's run it again let's, let's save my test case and open the browser go to the website go to the selected enter the value as a username and the password and then it will return back to result so I did not get the result Not fail why okay let's go to the dictionary value open this username equal to admin and password equal to admin one two three let's go to here we have made any mistake or what username we have to enter same the name like okay we have added space here that's why it's not working let's run it now you can see enter the value wait it for three seconds and then close the browser so this is how it is working whenever we are using dictionary variable inside the robot framework we can use for the multiple value as well as of now we are using two value only but you can add a number of value as per your requirement so that's all about dictionary in robot framework hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching